Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a blueberry lavender shrub. Hi, my name's Corrine and here at Spirea, I share videos that weave together plant wisdom, holistic health, self-sufficiency with just a dash of magic. If this sounds interesting to you, I'd love for you to stick around. Have you gotten on the shrub bandwagon yet? If not, you really should. Shrubs are drinking vinegars and they would have been a way that our ancestors would have preserved fruit without refrigeration. And in this day and age, they've become trendy again because in the world of mixology, people are using shrubs in adult beverages, but you can also mix them in soda water and they're absolutely delicious. Now, of course, as a herbalist, I love combining fruit with uh, medicinal plants to add some really unique and interesting flavors. So this one right here is my strawberry ginger rose petal shrub and I have a video on this and I know it's not strawberry season anymore but you can totally use frozen fruit to make shrubs. The next one I have is a lemon balm rhubarb which I'm actually ready to strain now. I absolutely love these. So I usually mix about I'd say anywhere from two to three tablespoons of shrub with soda water and it adds a really nice flavor. Plus you get all of the amazing benefits of raw apple cider vinegar, if that's the vinegar you choose to use. Um, really the world is your oyster in this way, but today I'm gonna share with you a blueberry shrub recipe because my family and I went blueberry picking today in Midland, Ontario. We actually found an organic blueberry farm and we came home with lots. So of course, I've got all these ideas brewing about what we can do with blueberries, including baked goods. I'm thinking some blueberry mead. If you haven't seen my video on bottling mead, I'll link that up here as well. And the rhubarb lemon balm shrub recipes on my blog. So I'll make sure that is in the description below. All right, so for this recipe, I am going to be using two cups of fresh blueberries. I have two tablespoons of lavender. Half of this is from my garden. Lavender season's almost done here. And the other half is dried lavender. If all you have is dried, that's totally fine. And if you don't want to add lavender, you can skip it entirely. Basil would also be really nice. Lemon balm with blueberry would be great. Or if you just want to make a straight blueberry shrub, that's totally fine too. You're also gonna need a sweetener of some kind. I'm running low on honey, so today I'm gonna go with organic cane sugar, but you can use honey, you can use coconut sugar, sucanut, whatever you prefer to use. And eventually you will need vinegar, but I like to use the slow process where we actually draw some of the natural juices out of the fruit by letting it sit on the counter for a bit and then in the fridge for a few days. If you've ever made jam, you're familiar this, with this process where you first mix the fruit and the sugar and the sugar pulls all of that beautiful juice out of the fruit. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Alrighty, Roo. So first step, you're going to take your two cups of blueberries and put them into a bowl of your choosing. And then I'm going to add my lavender flowers, which again are a mixture of dried and from my garden. And then we're going to put in one cup of sugar. So this is two cups of blueberries, to a ratio of one cup of sweetener. So if you're using honey, you may wanna use a little bit less. Again, I'm using organic cane sugar. I think coconut sugar would also add a really nice flavor as well. And I just thought, you know, it'd be really nice if you did say like a blueberry uh, vanilla as well. I think that would be really nice. So for this one, I'm actually gonna use my handy dandy muddler. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can just use the back of a spoon, a potato masher, use what you have. No need to go out and get some fancy equipment. And I'm just gonna really, kind of mix up the lavender and crush the blueberries and mix it with the fruit. So I'll do this just for a few moments, getting everything mixed in really, really nicely. That's my goal. So what I'm gonna do for tonight, I'm gonna cover this with a tea towel and I'll leave it out overnight because it is about seven o'clock here now. But then I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna pop it in the fridge because I made the mistake of leaving a shrub out or the sugar fruit mixture out a bit too long and ended up growing mold. So uh, make sure that you do at some point pop it into the fridge. So I really want those flavors to marry quite nicely. And then for this part of the process, that's all you're gonna do. You're gonna allow that sugar to start to pull out those juices 
and really get those flavors marrying. I'm gonna keep it in the fridge probably, it's Friday now, so probably until Sunday. Um, ideally, I'd like to leave it for about three days, but we're actually going on vacation on Monday, so um, I'll leave it out until Sunday, and then I will come back, so you'll see me in a few days for the finishing process. All right, we were having some technical difficulties with my gimbal, went a little weird there at the end. So like I said, this is gonna sit on the counter for overnight. I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for a few days, anywhere up to three or four days is no problem. And then I'll see you a little later for the finishing process. Are you ready to take your herbal learning to the next level? To dive into the world of plant-based wisdom and to walk the path of a plant worker? If you are, I invite you to check out Weavers of Plant Wisdom, which is my new monthly membership platform where we explore all topics plants. I hope to see you there. All right, so it's been about 48 hours since we created our blueberry, sugar, lavender sort of maceration, I guess we can call it. Ideally, I would have liked this to be in the fridge probably for another day or two, but because we're leaving on holidays, I have to make it now. Um, but you can see that the sugar has done exactly what we want it to, and it's nice, it's already nice and syrupy, and it's pulled a lot of the juices from the blueberries out. Now from here, some people will choose to strain out their fruit and herbs, add in um, equal portions of apple cider vinegar and call it done. But I would actually like the apple cider vinegar to pull some of the properties out of the lavender and the blueberries as well. So I'm gonna take this whole thing and put it in my jar and hopefully not make a giant mess doing it. There we are. And also because I only let it macerate for that 48 hour period, I really wanna keep that fruit in there longer, giving it a really nice flavor profile. All right, perfect. And as you can see, it fills the jar up about halfway. And then you're gonna add about two cups of, I'm using raw apple cider vinegar, but remember shrubs are, like there's really no wrong way to do, to do this. And so you could really play with some different vinegar profiles, um, maybe working with a bit of balsamic, using white vinegar, rice vinegar, whatever you have. So I'm gonna fill up. Looks like I might actually not have enough to fill up this jar, so I'll have to go get another one. Or I could top up with some balsamic. That would actually be a really nice flavor as well. So I decided against using balsamic for this. I thought that the floral notes of the lavender might get lost if I use balsamic vinegar. Although if you were doing just straight blueberry, I think you know adding a touch of balsamic would be a really nice flavor profile. So then you're just gonna put a lid on. If you're using a plastic lid like me, you're done. If you're using a metal lid, it's really important that you put a layer of parchment paper between the top of the jar and the lid, and that's gonna prevent any corrosion of that metal because of the acidic nature of your apple cider vinegar or vinegar of choice. Now I'm gonna let this sit on the counter for about three weeks or so. And when I'm ready to start enjoying my shrub, all you do is strain out all of the fruit and the herbs and you're left with this really great syrupy, sweet vinegar um, shrub solution. How I like to consume it is anywhere from about two to three tablespoons in a jar with some soda water. Uh, you can even drink it with flat water, it's quite nice. I'm actually curious to try it on the rocks to see if I would be able to drink it straight. Well, there you have it folks, a blueberry lavender shrub. I'm really excited about the wide array of shrubs I've made this year. Don't forget to check out all of those videos that I've linked. I've made a strawberry ginger rose petal shrub this year and a lemon balm rhubarb shrub. And these are really great to have in the summer months when it's hot because they're excellent at replenishing electrolytes and really thirst quenching. They're also nice to have in the winter months if you like having cocktails, especially around the holiday season, you can kind of add some health benefits to your adult beverages. Now, if you have any questions or comments about shrub making in general, please feel free to leave some comments below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And until next time, this is Corrine from Spirea Herbs, wishing you health and wellness. Thank you.